hello to you all and uh, I'm just going to hello hello to you all and I'm just going to uh, check that we're live before we begin and that's perfect okay so uh, I know some people like to tune in live uh, so I'll just give people a few minutes and I will babble away just for a few minutes um, whilst giving people the opportunity to to join me live okay um, I want to start just by speaking to the the people on YouTube that aren't necessarily on Facebook and just to let them know uh, when they see this later because I always upload the Facebook lives to YouTube um, but just to let those people know that uh, within my YouTube channel, as with any channel on YouTube, there's actually a, a, an area called community. And uh, within that part are the written posts that I put on Facebook. Okay, so I think the people on YouTube don't necessarily know. They know that I do videos, but they don't necessarily know that I give the updates, the written form updates uh, in that community section uh, on YouTube. OK, so if, if you are just on YouTube, hello to you later on. <laughs> and if you're here on Facebook right now, hello to you all. Uh, and if you're joining later, God bless to everybody. Um, also, just on a general note, is I'm I'm increasingly I'm always aware that as more and more people sort of uh, look at what I say or, or what I write, people are at um, different degrees of their awakening path. Um, so there's there's just a, such a huge variety of people from all over the world that that come onto this wall. Um, and, and if you're new here, it just to also say to you that there are many, many, I think there's about 150 videos on my YouTube channel. So some of the things I've already explained previously that I can't sort of go into detail about again. Um, and now and again, I will sort of write on this wall um, or point to particular videos that may help people based on where they are on their stage. And, and I am going to do that today within this live because um, there's one particular video I did um, maybe, well, last year in the summer, which, which I feel is very, very helpful uh, to people right now, at least some people, okay? Um, so please, just as always, just take what resonates. I, uh, I don't come on here to give an opinion. Um, I come on here and I write just to share and that's it. Uh, and it, it's just for people that resonate. And I do find that some people that, uh, you know, didn't resonate a few years ago, they, they, they end up saying, do you know, I didn't understand you a few years ago, but now I do. And so I don't push my information out there. Uh, I don't advertise. I, I just give the information and I just ask everybody to please just take it or leave it if it resonates for you. And that's the beauty of the whole diversity of this mass collective ascension into our consciousness is that no matter where you are in the world, no matter your culture, your country, I'm so passionate about this diversity, is, is no matter what your upbringing, no matter your current religion, no matter the religions that you may have been influenced by, there, there is somebody in this world right now that you will have resonance to. Um, and that is the beauty of God's source. It's, it's within people all over the world explaining in different styles. 
So if I don't appeal to you in what I share, then you can guarantee that there'll be somebody, uh, or, that, or there may be many people, many other people that you resonate with, and that's the beauty of it all. Okay, so just please, please just take what resonates in terms of what I share today and just leave the rest if it's not for you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's begin. <laughs> Babble over. Um, okay. Uh, I've made some notes, which, which I will look at myself because um, I'm going to go through a lot of different things. And yet, you know, it's just like the needle in the haystack. Um, it's, it's, it's just a little bit of, of the whole, you know, information and there's, there's many, many subjects I won't be talking about because it, it's just too much otherwise. So I'm putting it into sections on purpose uh, and <laughs> is, is where I begin. I'm also going to end. Sorry, it just makes me laugh because that's actually the whole greater design is that where it begins, it ends and it begins and it ends. And, so, just ignore me. <laughs> so, I'm going to start at a point and then I'm going to go into um, the intensity and the timeline and then I'm going to come back to the original point, okay, but with different information. <coughs> okay, so, we begin, <laughs> is I want you to just be right aware right now of the synchronicity of dates. I was told by a being, I can't remember his name, an Indian being that came to me many, many years ago to make a note of everything, to write things down or whatever form, you know, because all the dates are synchronized. Uh, if I remember the being's name, an Indian being, uh, I feel very ashamed of myself that I don't remember his name, but there you go. Um, just pay attention to the dates. So, the 6th of February this year, via Clear Audience. So, Clear Audience is when you are not thinking whatsoever. The human is absent. You're in peace. You're beyond all phenomena. And you're just present. And within that silence, some people, and it will be increasing and increasing, uh, can hear. Okay? And, and that is clear audience. So, on the 6th of February, a few days ago, this year, I heard the exact words, the gravitational pull is coming down. Now, I wrote in brackets, meaning dissolving, okay, because the word pull can be misperceived uh, in lots and lots of different ways. Also, coming down can be misperceived in many ways. The gravitational pull is coming down. That was the 6th of February this year. I'm now going to read just a tiny part of a post I did on the 5th of January last year relating to gravity. As consciousness embodied as the primary experience as that there is no time and no gravity as consciousness. Yet there is the seeing, experiencing and understanding that gravity is around you and necessary for a solidity experience of the body and the solid world. Entirely made of condensed light. And the seeing that time is but an illusionary experience that is believed to be real. It is time that allows for a slowdown experience and manifestation 
of all that e already exists in God's creation. It is frequency that determines which state of consciousness we primarily experience by. It is gravity in place within the brain that allows for the idea that consciousness is somehow inside the brain and physical body which in turn led to the idea we are primarily human first separated from our consciousness separated from the divine source god creator so <clears throat> Uh, there's an area within the brain that post relates to okay just just the bottom image the green area of the brain this is like supposed to be a drawing of the side view of the brain itself there's an area within the brain that has its own gravitational force it is it is in alignment with the gravi gravitational force outside of us where if you drop the apple the apple falls down yes but it's the gravi there's a gravitational force within the brain itself that gives the illusion, and I, I really emphasize the word illusion, it gives the illusion that, the, that our consciousness is, is inside of here, okay? Or that we are coming from here, our brain or that we are operating and we are navigating via the brain. And that's the story. That's the experience within this holographic illusional reality. Okay. Um, just as a little side note, um, I know people have, or, or some people, okay, c can find it difficult to, to accept, say, the word holographic. Okay just look at that as, as why you can't accept it perhaps it's because you think of holographic in terms of a computer creating a hologram that's not it that's not what i refer to a holographic reality that i refer to is a reality that's made of light frequency and vibration and there are many designs of light uh, and geometry positions uh, of light combined with frequency combined with vibration that create different illusions but everything fundamentally is made of that outside of source so in this day and age 2024 in this modern era we have the ability to to say this is a holographic reality okay simply because we're in this modern scientific if you like era it's a way we can give a, a metaphor or analogy um, if you went back to medieval times they would call that holographic illusion a labyrinth and then if you go further back to say the time and the story of jesus he would say my father's house has many rooms it, it's all the same it's just that it's spoken and told in a different language in a different era okay all right so that was a side note um back to the dates 
So a year ago, yes, all the information about the brain. Um, and that was on the 5th of January, 2023. On the 26th of January, and that was via learning dream. Okay, so the first one was clear audience. The second one was my learning dream um, that I've spoken about. The third one I'm speaking about was what I call data download. And that's when just data just unpackages within you and you could speak for hours on a particular subject. Uh, because literally the light data has opened up within you. So you therefore suddenly know something that you didn't know 10 seconds ago. So on the 26th of January last year, I received data unpackaged within me all to do with gravity and how the gravity within the actual brain, it's within what I was told was by, by my consciousness, the south. It's the south of the brain, meaning the lower part of the brain. It's that area that holds the gravity in place for you to seemingly feel that your consciousness and your beingness is, is from the body, this physical body itself. It keeps us in the solid reality, or, con or seemingly so. Okay, now, now here's, here's, here's the part that I personally love and find, find funny is this morning when I knew I would do this live, I remembered that I've already received some of this information before from many years ago, nine years ago. So I went to my, my first ever little notebook, um, you know, during my, my awakening, and I want to read you what I wrote nine years ago, and the date was the 16th of February. Okay, so we're in February. February is a huge month. It was nine years ago on the 16th of February, I wrote this to do with consciousness and this information came in two forms. It came in clear audience to start with and then in the night, I was woken up to a vision playing out outside of me. And that is where the whole of my reality just fades away and goes and I'm seeing, uh, I'm, I'm consciousness seeing uh, in a vision form uh, outside of the field of this illusion. I hope that makes sense. Sorry if I don't make sense. I just, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I just do my best. Okay, so <clears throat> nine years ago, uh, except for a week, nine years ago, first part was clear audience. The, and I'm going to show you some pictures in this notebook. The capulet is coming down. You haven't seen it. So two days ago, the gravitational pull is coming down. That was two days ago. Clear audience. Clear audience nine years ago. The capulet is coming down. You haven't seen it. Obviously, a much less awakened state nine years ago. I'll carry on, and I am going to read you what it says nine years ago. That, that was in the daytime. The capulet is coming down. You haven't seen it. Later that night, at 3.03 a.m., on the morning of the 17th of February, I woke up and saw this. Okay, I'll show you the picture. I'll zoom in and out, but that's what I saw. Okay. Each of those, you know, little sort of, they're not circles, they're, they're more like ovals. Um, each of those ovals, we call them, moved, vibrated horizontally, left and right. Beyond the main layer was space, where third dimensional thoughts already exist to collect for expansion in the third dimension only. 
so possibilities, ideas, etc., but within third dimension. The, I'm going to call them capulets because I've just done them as drawings here. The capulets could not move vertically. This is the analogy of the third dimension, which can only expand until now horizontally. If we see this plane from another viewpoint, okay, and then I've got another drawing, let me get that in there. <clears throat> So you can see the capulets. You see, can you see, I've, I've drawn it in detail at the bottom there. And then you can see the layer of capulets that I'm talking about, the third dimensional that just move left and right. So you can create as much as you want within that particular field of frequency. It's just a bandwidth made of light, frequency and vibration. And then you can see the, what, what was shown as fourth, fifth, sixth, okay? I'm sorry if this isn't making sense, but please go back to it if, if it doesn't. The capulet represents consciousness within the third dimension. The caps are individually dissolving down. We are not rising up. The cap is dissolving. As a cap dissolves, the consciousness is able to ingest higher dimensional frequencies. Each cap dissolves individually, one at a time. Thus, the collective consciousness allows in Okay, it's collective consciousness. The collective consciousness allows in more and more higher vibration, light and frequency. The cap was the intentional veil placed on the third dimension. We are not rising up. The cap is dissolving down. What is left can see, feel, experience the higher dimensions of higher frequencies of energy. So that's why the Claire audience two days ago said the gravitational pull is coming down. See, we already are consciousness. It's what dissolves in here. The gravity that holds or seemingly holds our consciousness sort of localized, uh, uh, almost like we operate from the brain. Okay, that's the experience. That's the illusion. That's the human avatar in the body that the consciousness is projecting into this reality. So it's when these, these capulets, as I was, it was called nine years ago, it, it's as those dissolve, that the veil dissolves within you and what is left. So it, it's the gravity, the gravity inside your brain that holds that all in place. Um, I'm just checking because I can see somebody's said freezing and Joanne said freezing, so I'm just checking that I'm still live. Please forgive me. Let's see. Yeah, okay, smash it, we're still live. As far as I'm aware, we're still live. We are on my phone anyway. So it's, the gravity dissolves within the brain itself. I'm not talking about the outside at the moment. It's within your brain 
at ready point for each and it's one by one as I said the gravity dissolves within your brain and what is left you know if we fast forward to it just let's let's go all the way and say gravity has dissolved completely okay fast forward a bit what is left is consciousness is consciousness looking down like I've always said consciousness looks down upon the human avatar body it views from outside of the body consciousness views from outside of the body it's the gravity within the brain that almost seemingly it's the experience of being cut off from your consciousness cut off from source God itself so it's as that gravity lifts at ready point for each that you just you you just evolve you just change into becoming more and more of what you always are what you what you are which is consciousness outside of the body operating a human avatar vehicle okay so just having a pause just to check my notes on that part okay yeah so uh back to back to two days ago for for everybody on the planet um i know many of you have felt it already uh the effects so gravity <coughs> is now lifting two degrees okay it's different for everybody but the gravity within a person's brain is lifting by degree for each individual in the whole of the planet it's very individual it's very much by degree will this be super fast i've no idea <laughs> i've no idea i don't know um Will it be different for everybody? Yes, everybody is a unique facet of consciousness. Of course it will be. But the effects that you may be feeling, in the, particularly in the last couple of days, all right, because we, we can have these effects at any time, you know, for the years in the past. But I'm talking about a significant part of this whole collective game right now is that gravity is now lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting from inside the brain so you may be feeling uh let's call it floaty uh, uh very sort of spacey uh y you might be finding it hard to concentrate on what you could concentrate on in terms of your human thoughts um, what I was also shown in a separate learning dream just in the last two days is there's going to be absent mindedness, uh, meaning you're, you're going to do things and think, eh? you know, and you won't be able to remember. I mean, I, I, I went to put um, the milk back in my fridge, which is outside of my caravan in the awning, and I took the honey instead this morning. Do you see? It's like, well, it, it, there's going to be um, that absent-mindedness where, where you, you do things, you think, well done, why, wasn't, why am I doing that? Okay. All right. But, but choose, maybe choose how, to, how you wish to experience it. Yeah. Um, I'm always the sort of person, the glass is always half full. It's never half empty with me. Uh, I find a lot of things very funny. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, as I'm speaking to you now, I, it, it is hard for me to focus on trying to give you the information. It's very, very hard for me, right? But so what, you know, it, it, it's the world ending, no no you know it just just see it as is you know the rain is just the rain this is happening it's an experience within your own brain it makes you feel a certain sort of way vibrationally it's very weird it's very floaty it's very it's actually very gentle extremely gentle 
but I'm choosing to see it that way with excitement uh, and joy and joy. I mean, you know, I'd been told this nine years ago and it's now finally, you know, really happening for the whole collective. So I'm not choosing to think of it as let, let me take you down another mindset of, oh God, I feel, I feel weird and I feel, uh, I'm out of control and I don't know what I'm doing. And can you hear it? It's like fear, 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 fear. Right? Well, some people can choose to experience it that way if they choose to, but that's just their thoughts uh, infiltrating what is actually happening. And what is actually happening is changes within the brain. And that's it. You can perceive that as bad. You can perceive that as good. But the rain is just the rain. You know, as I always say, the rain is just the rain. Is it horrible? That's up to you. Is it amazing? You're going to go and dance in it? That's up to you. It's up to your mind and your thoughts. So, so be aware that the rain is just the rain. This is happening and it's happening to everyone. And it's by degree. So different for each person. Uh, based on their life, etc., etc. However, I've just spoken about what is happening to the human being. Remember, we are a micro of the macro in this particular game. God's dreaming a game. There's many games of God's dreaming. So whilst I'm talking to you about the side effects within the brain. This is a micro, this is a micro. So the effect of gravity will also be experienced by Mother Earth. And Mother Earth is a different organism to us. But nevertheless, Mother Earth will express her changes her way based on that organism and how it functions. But that is, is like a, a macro to our micro. And now let's take it further and let's say that the effect of gravity being released one by one, bit by bit, is also going to be experienced by the sun. So the sun, being a different form, will express that release a different way. I'll leave that part there. Um, I don't think I need to go into any more about that um, but just to understand it it's not just happening to the human um, e e everything is a reflection out from source everything everything affects everything it's just that it affects things in different ways based on the form and based on the consciousness of the form okay so Moving from that, moving from the subject of gravity, um, th th this what is happening inside of the brain of humanities of humanity, it's going to affect everybody differently. So, it is my awareness that we, you know, the intensity of the what I call the timeline of tribulation, which. I felt started in March of last year, the intensity, you know, we can see, we can see that, um, e e you know, everything outside of us, oh, not everything, <laughs> but there's a lot of intensity, <laughs> there's not, there's a lot of intensity out there in the world of humanity, let's put it that way, and there's a lot of intensity within Mother Earth as well, okay, uh, and, the, and the sun, obviously. Um, but I personally feel that the, uh, we have not reached the peak point of intensity yet. I 
don't know how long it is before we reach the peak of intensity. It's at that peak that there are changes. Uh, and, and things change in, in a very different way. Um, but we are still, if you resonate, you know, with the way I express uh, what's happening uh, or, you know, humanity, I express it since last year. You know, I didn't know I was going to, but it is the way it is. But it is expressed by me as the timeline of tribulation since last March. And we're still in it. Humanity is still in it. So, um, even though there are these uh, amazing changes to consciousness occurring within each people, each person at different levels of consciousness, even though that is, is ultimately taking us back, ultimately it will take us back into consciousness itself, there is the journey there. And uh, to me, there will be more intensity than we have experienced so far within this last nine months. Okay. You have to understand there's, there's lots happening within each person's brain, whether they're a world leader, whether they're the ones in control of world wars, whether they're people in your family, your partner, your friends, everybody is affected differently in the brain. Okay. So it's, if you're new to this wall, probably the, the videos on YouTube, um, at least from May last year are worth a revisit if you don't understand what I mean by the timeline of tribulation and more specific details about how uh, energy affects people. Look back at those YouTube videos, it's all in there. But just to emphasize right now is as the intensity keeps going up within parts of humanity, um, Bearing in mind, you know, there's the intensity of the rise of consciousness, but there's also the intensity of the dissolving um, of the old ways of being, of operating as a human. And in order for that dissolving, it's like I always say, it has to be seen. It has to arise within the person to be seen. It has to come up to be seen, to come out. And then people get to choose whether to look at self or whether to keep uh, blaming the outside world sort of thing uh, for how they feel. Um, so in terms of human beings, personalities, the mind, the human emotions, people, anybody can go through, if anybody experiences intensity, it can uh, be witnessed or also experienced within your own self, depending on who you are. Um, but it can be it, it witnessed or, or experienced within self as a great imbalance. It's the imbalance of the mind. You see, we may witness wars outside of ourselves, you know, human physical wars, and we may witness the escalation of war within the world, country to country, neighbor to neighbor. But the war stems from the mind. The war begins in the mind of man or woman that's where the war is so even though we we can see and witness the, you know the the intensity of war that the will it will intensify as far as i'm aware um and the intensity of mother earth okay within individuals 
there's going to be intense there's this it's the intensity within themselves that's going to arise and some of that will arise and be blurted out to others on their outside and some of that imbalance within the mind is it depends on the person but it might just be felt quietly and inwardly and not spoken about so it's to be aware to be aware that the energies and the increase in energies from the sun into your body into your brain create all sorts of mental emotional intensity it can do but not everybody will feel uh, you know in balance because we're all at, at different points of consciousness okay so discernment like I've said in previous videos during the last year what do you choose to give your energy to be aware be aware of what you give your energy to and take responsibility for choosing within you what you're choosing to give your energy to so if you're here as so many of us are to evolve into your higher state of consciousness It is never that the 3D or the 4D is going to change. It's that we change. We evolve into our consciousness that is everywhere outside of us and within us. So if you're outward facing and you're seeing the world, maybe it's the world stage and events there. Maybe it's your family that you're witnessing or a friend that you're aware of and witnessing or your partner uh, anybody you know it's it's to be aware within you what am i choosing to give my energy to because what you give your energy to you create more of you're choosing that field you're choosing that frequency bandwidth do you understand? It, it, it's a case of what are you trying to sustain yourself? Um, I'm not speaking about you particularly, okay? <laughs> could be anybody, but it could be you. But what are you choosing to give your energy to? What are you choosing to fuel? Because it's not just about what, what you are focusing on it's by giving your energy okay here we go chickens here's 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 you human avatar in forgetfulness you see something happening on the outside reality and you oh, so which one's you okay this is you this is rocky okay you're rocky you're you're in the human avatar forgetfulness you see this happening on the outside maybe it's the war or maybe it's escalation of where more maybe it's elections maybe it's your government maybe it's illness maybe it's your partner um, that's, that's angry or not you know treating you the way you want etc or maybe it's a friend uh, may, maybe it's an awakened person that is focused on a particular subject okay multiple subjects multiple subjects within the awakened community so maybe it's an awakened person who is deeply deeply focused on this over here okay and this is you this is rocky okay <laughs> do you need to react at all you see your consciousness isn't reacting to this guy over here or this woman your consciousness isn't reacting to it it's only the one in forgetfulness that reacts. So there's going to be a reaction based on states of consciousness, but how are you choosing to react? Are you reacting with love? Or are you reacting with judgment? 
you know, no wonder they say chickens peck, because that's, that's what we do, isn't it? Rah, rah, rah. You know? But look what you're doing. You're choose this person is just saying this or being this over here, but you're choosing to enter the ring. You're choose you're over here having a nice day, but you choose to interact. You choose to enter the ring, the energetic ring of this this being over here. Well, if this being is having a, an imbalanced time, let's say it that way, th then you need to expect to get your head bitten off, like I've said before. But you need to take responsibility because this <laughs> is an avatar in your illusion that comes along, presents up, this is in your screen, your film, your story. It's coming along. Your consciousness has provided it. Boom, 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 boom. How is this guy going to react? That's the point. That's why this person is here. How are you going to react? You get the choice. You get the chance. And if you do have a bad time through that interaction, then your consciousness will present another time maybe by another person and will present a similar situation where you get to react or not. So I'm going to show you um, a little drawing of that. It's not, they're not chickens. It's, 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 it's just because um, I want to explain. I, I've done this in a... I'll explain this part later, but is the, just the first part, you see? Two human beings, and I've done uh, like a little circle around each of them, which signifies, just as a drawing, okay, um, energetic fields. So based on what I just said, this person presents to you. This is you, this person presents to you. It may be, it, it may be the news that presents to you. It may be um, something you've heard about in the world. It may be something on multimedia. It may be somebody's opinion on Facebook. You get to choose whether to engage. And if you choose to engage, you're taking yourself over here into that person's field. But it's your responsibility. And if this person reacts adversely to you, upsets you, hurts you, etc., etc., what's happening is whatever they are emitting, it's triggering. I'm doing this with my left hand. It's triggering a part of you that you haven't seen of yourself and so you have then resistance do you see they're saying xyz xyz it hits a part of you that you haven't integrated within yourself and so you've got then resistance resistance um and, and that's that's the division you know, that's, that's the, um, the duality. It's the forgetfulness. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just about evolving out of it. So within this time of intensity, if you are feeling angry, if you're feeling judgmental, it, and this can be about the outside, but it could be about your own self. You know, um, that you don't feel good enough, that you feel less than, all of those things. Or you're judging outside of you. Um, I want to point you to the video that I did on the 6th of June 2023 last year, where I speak and explain the beauty of, of what we are here to experience but I talk about the shadow, the shadow that all of us have. And if you can understand the shadow, 
and what it truly is, you just integrate it. And once you've integrated your own shadow, you are at peace. You are at peace. And what happens, what changes as an experience for you, is that Tom, Dick or Harry, anybody, everybody in your world, whether it's on the news, multimedia, face-to-face -face in physicality, but what happens when you have integrated your own shadow fully and accepted it, is that everything happens outside of you. Say like this one person, they say what they say, they do what they do, and instead of it hitting that wall of resistance, what they say just goes straight through your field and out. Doesn't affect you. Doesn't affect you. And what you find is you, you don't even give it any thought or energy. Energy, because thoughts are energy. Yeah? You just you're just aware it's all illusion. But you know it's always about well how do I respond to that? And and what happens is there's less reaction. <coughs> reaction is a human thing. It's a human thing. We react, but that's only from the avatar. When your consciousness there's there's no human reaction to to events you're just consciousness being and you allow the consciousness to speak through the body okay I'm going to check my notes because um, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said and I'm, I know there's more to come uh, so please just give me a sec Okay, so the reason I've gone into that part is because we are within the timeline of tribulation still and I am knowing that the intensity will keep going up so um, it's just about discernment if you look at any prophecies about the time of tribulation you will be aware that it's a time of great intensity, great war, great effects upon the earth, mother earth, um, neighbor fighting against neighbor, you'll be aware that um, there will be falsity, there will be lies, there will be deception, and you know, um, I think that's quite obvious really that that is all there and has intensified in the last year so it really is about discernment of of what you focus on what you listen to what you give your energy to and if you choose to give your energy to something to take responsibility that that's what you're creating and that's what you're choosing to keep creating as your experience here okay <coughs> just want to touch on something that gets learnt along the way on the, the embodiment path. Uh, from the soul actually, although the soul doesn't speak. There's a time to speak and there's a time to be silent. So again, I'm saying this to support you with whatever arises outside of you within family, friends, loved ones, etc, etc, as they go through their intensities, is for you to know, because it is all about you. you, do, you do, it's all about you. The whole of this game is about you because it's your game you've designed your story this way so it's for you to traverse this story and exit the book and start the next book 
So everything, everything that appears to you, that comes to you, it's always about you making the highest choice. So, you know, there comes a point on the path where you 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 learn it. it it's 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 not a mental learning. It's a doing. It's an awareness where there's a time to speak and a time to be silent. Now, bearing in mind what I was saying about you know this person and this person's field and what's happening to this person and this person, this is you and you're witnessing it. Okay. Is this person asking for your advice? Are they asking for your advice? So you're witnessing everything that's going on for them. Are they asking for your advice? You see, this is the thing with sentience. I'm talking about feeling energy. And the more the whole of humanity goes, the more each person becomes energy sensitive, energy aware, because that's what we evolve into, the energetic human. So sentience, feeling. You become, it becomes, energy becomes your operating system through feeling. So it starts with humans being able to feel, be sensitive, but it evolves into reading energy. And energy just is. The rain is just the rain, you know. There's, there's no judgment with energy. It's just this frequency or that frequency or another frequency. There's just multiple frequencies and that's all they are. There's no judgment with it. It's very, very simple. But what happens with your sentience as it heightens and heightens, heightens, is you become aware if this person, you become aware to be silent with this person, okay? To not enter the ring. Now with another person, they could be reaching out to you. So we got another one there, okay. They could be reaching out to you for help. They want you to listen. But the more sentient you become, you might be aware that this person, even though they're asking you for help, help me, help me, help me, they're not ready. They're not ready to hear. So you learn through sentience that yes, this person is struggling, but I can't help them because I know they're not ready to hear. And then you get another chicken comes along <laughs> and they're ready to hear. Now, in your awareness, in your sentience, you'll be honouring yourself in your own time, in your own energy, in your own storyline. And so you may help this person you may speak to this person, but it might not be as exactly the right time when they need to hear it, because you have to honor your own field first. And then there may be times when, I, sorry, I haven't got another type of chicken, but there may be times when another person comes in and it's exactly their time that you are there and you are able to say something that truly, truly affects and changes and helps this person and then they just go thank you boom and they're off they're not needing anything else from you it was a key it was an energetic exchange it's called trans it's through translocational waves this happens okay so in other words it can be the reason i've explained all those different types of you know, beings that are coming to you in your reality, it's you that grows. It's you that becomes in 
sentience to energy and you can easily feel it's so easy you just feel no it's very quick it's no I can see they're not ready I won't say anything even though I'd like to help them it's not gonna help them but it's much quicker than that it's just yes no it's just known it's energy but the thing that can get people into trouble or bother as we say in England is is that the awareness of this person okay Rocky hasn't reached that state of sentience and so they give in they give advice and this person isn't wanting it they just want to be listened to or this person isn't ready to hear this person's advice and then it's just clash it's just a clash there's no resonance it's all about resonance so be aware that if you uh, or if you give unsolicited advice that there can easily be backlash or that it can actually be just a complete waste of time and energy from you and you can end up feeling exhausted because you you may be trying to help somebody but they're not ready to hear okay there's a time and a space for everything and you just have to flow with that and not try and control it yourself remember that no matter what happens outside of you uh, whether it's the world stage whether it's mother earth whether it's friends family awakened friends partners it's never about them it's always about how am I reacting to them the whole of this game is about always making the highest choice and I've explained that in in a previous um, live but within this intensity this period of intensity you're going to hear many 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 different perspectives outside of you it's for you to use your discernment because it's all about you so you know just to point to again this was on a previous facebook live but if you look at that ladder on whatever side of the screen it's on for you if you look at that ladder and you can see three people okay and i'm pointing to the people being on different rungs of the ladder okay they're on they're at different stages of consciousness and they're maybe down different branches of the tree and and that's the world around you that's what you are here to navigate so to know that somebody at a particular stage of consciousness is going to see the world through those eyes a person at a, a different state of consciousness is going to see the world with different eyes and the higher and higher and higher you go in meeting your own consciousness you see differently and, and eventually see from outside of the world of duality and so there are so many perspectives outside of you what do you give your energy to what is expanding you and what is contracting you it's all about you <laughs> okay um, so just the final part which is is going to go back to gravity and why, why is this happening uh, so I'm just giving you the the bigger picture um, of, of why this is now uh, basically in the whole of the collective field for each person is 
is dissolving the gravity within their own brains at their own different stages, etc. And it will affect everybody differently. Okay. Um, please give me a minute. So talk too much. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm not used to all this talking, believe me. You probably don't, because all you hear is me talk. <laughs> you don't experience me when I'm here, in my caravan, in quiet. Um, so I'm just not used to talking all this much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to go back to the end of my last video that I did. I want to recount that story because it's in relation to our uh, the whole bigger picture uh, and I'm going to explain it with another drawing as well and it's in relation to the gravity lifting the veil lifting us becoming consciousness itself so bigger picture time now story time <laughs> um, sorry uh, so I, I can't remember what year but I received a very clear learning dream. And I was shown a list uh, on a piece of paper with about 20 surnames on it. The Rothschilds was there and other surnames that I can't remember. And then I was shown the world and my consciousness said that uh, if your surname had this surname that you would those people in the world have everything they have the opulence they have the finance they uh, they don't need to try they don't need to try hard it's just already there for them okay about 20 names and then I was shown the world and the people and the children suffering and the um, you know the children without uh, water without food uh, living in such conditions and then I was shown uh, a lady with three jobs just holding down three jobs um, trying to support her family and her children and the struggle and I, I was just shown the vastness of the other people that weren't in this list of, of 20 people and the, the pain and the suffering that, that they go through. And when I was viewing all of this, uh, it affected my human in the dream. And I said in the dream to God, Yes, but it, it doesn't have to be this way. It, you could change this. And that's what I said to God. Is, you could change this right now. It doesn't have to be this way. And in the dream, God's voice came back and responded, Yes. But you need to find how. So God's response didn't say you need to find out how God was going to change it, okay? Do you see the difference? You need to find how, not you need to find out how God is going to change it, okay? No, the response was yes, meaning yes, God could change all of this, but you need to find out how. Now that was in years and years and years ago. But the whole of this greater grand design, the divine design, I'm not talking about universal timelines and any of that. I'm talking about God source design that oversees everything in its creation. 
okay that's what I want to explain to you now because it's it's relevant to the the shift in the consciousness that's taking place and has been taking place incrementally through the years okay I'm going to very very briefly describe the creation out from the God spark from the absolute and I, I do mean basic because this live is, is so long already so I'll miss a load out but let's just say that the God spark when it chose to express right, it, 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 it created this 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 in order but at, at a particular point it created energies that were facets of light now some could call those angelic okay doesn't really matter what you call it but they were points of God's consciousness facets of God's consciousness that you could describe as angelic and they went out into creation completely and utterly connected to source to the absolute always connected to God's source and they created and they created and they created and they created but always connected to God's source and God had given those points of light, those facets of consciousness, those angels, if you prefer to call them angels. God gave through its love the ability for them all to go out and create creation. And they all did so always 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 connected to source good doing if you like God's will but there came a point in this story hey okay, everything is a story there came a point in this story where relatively few significantly enough of those angels or those light facets chose to take that free will that God had given them and chose to use their own free will to create for themselves separated to God source so in other words the gift the gift that God had given them which was create with me go out and create 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 that gift that ability certain light facets angels whatever you want to call them chose to take advantage of that ability they had and thought I want to do this without God I want to create for myself I want to create whatever I want for my own power absent of God's self and so you know you could you could describe that as as like the fallen yeah the fallen angels now the reason I'm telling you that now is because we're doing the reverse we are the reflection back to source we are the mirror back to source and it's all happening all at once outside of time so I'm going to show you all of that 
in relation to us, in relation to you, in relation to other people. I'm going to show you all just in a tiny uh, drawing. It's not very good, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to show you that so that you can put it into context because that's just a story, isn't it? How does that affect you right now? How does that affect you being on planet Earth? How does that affect the choices you make tomorrow and the next day or after this video? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll we'll end this live. Okay. So, um, hopefully you can see that. You can always screenshot this afterwards. But the singularity this is this is what i described as the absolute and this is just a drawing it's just an analogy to help with understanding this is the original absolute the god spark it created outside of itself blah 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 it got to the point where it then created the individual light facets which Ignore all of the colours, by the way, the light facets, which you could describe as angelic, but they were all creating with source, connected to source. And then this one here. Okay, oh, sorry. This one here and, and others decided to use that gift of creation and separate from source and just create for itself to create the power for itself and so it created out 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 okay that's what i've just described to you but separate to source it, even though source is still within that being that chose to go against god source is still within it if we look at the reverse of what's happening because it's just a mirror we have the humans here experiencing an avatar body in the field of duality and then they awaken one by one by one with their own unique journey and style you have your own blueprint within you. My blueprint is not your blueprint. Honor yours. Have faith in yours. Because that is your way. It's your only way. Somebody else's way isn't your way. You have your way. Find your way. And just allow it to unfold. And I, I say this, you know, when I first awoke, I hadn't got a clue about anything, nothing. I didn't even know a spiritual arena existed. I didn't. I didn't have intuition. I didn't have senses. I, you know, it, but I was told to just rely on the inward to, of embodiment and to not rely on anything or any tools or anyone outside of me. And, and it is actually by flexing that inner muscle that you learn your own way. And then, you know, it takes, it takes a while, but you learn your own way and your own style. And then you understand how your consciousness is showing you how to come back to itself. So we've got the humans in the duality the avatar in forgetfulness thinking this is human and if I'm a good girl or a good boy I might go to heaven or I might go to hell you know all of those false teachings that are indoctrinated within the baby within the child the toddler the schooling the employment the government the churches blah 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 I won't go into that it's too long <laughs> but eventually when the person's awakening what they will end up doing um, it's what people are doing now is is they're doing what people people call it the rainbow bridge and what it is is it is there's a firmament there's a firmament you see here I'm trying to depict a firmament 
that stops this person here being here in a state of consciousness. And then here in this state of consciousness, there's another firmament, another one, this one. And you have to cross that one to get back to your true pure consciousness. So there's people that will move into this part is what I call universal. There's people as we advance on this collective timeline, this collective ascension, there are people that will, will go, you know, they call it crossing over the rainbow bridge. But it, 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 it's not, it, you, you go through it. It's, it's a firmament. And, and once you go consciously through it, you have a different state of consciousness. But it's not full consciousness. It's partly conscious. And so as we go, there's going to be so many people that go through the, the firmament, the rainbow firmament, and, and they will create uh, all, all the new technologies that will come to help people and help the world. They'll come from different star systems. Why? Because, because these people will be connected to other star systems. They'll just download knowledge. Uh, all the the senses, um, and this is, I should have said this right at the beginning when I'm talking about the gravity going from your brain, is that the one of the side effects is that your clair senses, your clair audience, your clair voyance, your clair sentience, it just increases and increases and increases and increases because that that gravity that is the veil is lifting from you so you're becoming more and more of your consciousness that already has that that already is that but as we go and as you know everything eventually changes and i'm talking about years now more and more people will end up here in a state of consciousness of love harmony and peace with increased energetic abilities and they will create for the whole in that love, peace and harmony. You can't take your ego with you into that. You can't. And that's why of the intensity, that's why everything, all the shadow has to come up to be seen, to be surrendered and, and that's all it takes. You just need to surrender from it and choose a higher choice, a higher way of thinking, a higher energetic way of thinking, I mean, a higher energetic feeling. It's all about choosing energy. Energy is just like radio stations and you can just flick, you know, if I was down for some reason, I could just change my, my frequency without even thinking about it. It's just like, oh, and there it is, it's changed. You tune in to energy, frequency. It's frequency that denotes how you feel. And, and as people go, they, instead of working out that, oh, well, I feel this way because of this, that, and the other, eventually all of that goes. You just alter frequency. It's just like changing the dial, realizing that you are, you are down here in this vibration. Oh, okay, change it up there and then everything you experience is from that higher vibrational state and this is why you know you you see the world you see the spiritual arena you see the diversity within it some people struggling some people arguing some people debating uh some people blah 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 blah. but it, it it's just based on a state of frequency the higher you go in frequency the less you are in the world. You, you won't debate. There's nothing to debate. You're just the observer. 
and all you'll end up doing is 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 being there helping others get there so back to this because I have sidetracked is what we have is the reverse happening it's the mirror of what was reflected out by source and what we're doing is the reflection back and so people will go through their embodiment stages many will be here and they will be more in the world they'll be more in their body with higher energetic abilities but they will feel like they're more human than people that have already or will go through the rainbow firmament but keep going because it's their sole choice to do so before this incarnation they will keep going through the next firmament ignore the color and align to the consciousness and become the consciousness that they already are which is always connected to source god and so that's why you know in previous uh, written posts uh, and maybe recent lives that's why i explained that uh it you know it's, it's some years off um although you know who knows i could be wrong um could be tomorrow for all i know i don't know um <laughs> is there will be there will be different types of beings there will be people who are more the doers uh, um, are in groups um, they're the creators uh, they're the builders on the ground but with higher energetic abilities and being able to tap into those energetic abilities but then there will be a different type of person i have said these two categories for many years now and the other type of person uh, is not in the world their body is in the world you can see them you can see their body but they're actually coming from this sorry this they're coming from their state of consciousness and what that consciousness is doing is it's just downloading through into the human but it's it's connected to god and we will have the time in the future it is coming but it's not now where humanity will witness that I can't talk too much about that time at the moment. I know I can't. It's sealed. But it is exactly as God said. It is that God will come through the voice box, through the, the human avatar body, through the ones that have chosen that full embodiment that that are focused on god's source that are here to embody that and give of that and so there will be two types of beings but they work together the two types of human avatar beings work together in that love peace and harmony these people will be doing such and such and these people will be doing such and such but it, it's very different but it just works in peace and in love and in harmony all together but it will be that some are more sort of in their bodies and some people will be consciousness outside of the body just looking down at the body operating the body and allowing the consciousness to talk through them and it's not that consciousness physically talks it's not that God physically talks it's just that their alignment and their consciousness state is aligned to their consciousness and to the source God and so their vessel is just basically empty because they're choosing to do God's will rather than 
the fall, the fall of human will, wanting its own power, wanting its own energy, wanting to increase its own energy over everybody, its power over everybody, wanting to drain other people's energy down, feeding off other people's energy. Can you see the, the difference? So I shall leave it there. I'm sorry this has been long. It, it literally is talking about kind of one thing but in relation to a few things but it, but it is it is a bit like there's so much else you know um there's so much more um it, it's just like picking a few things which i do feel are relevant right now to speak about i haven't spoken about the holographic reality on this occasion um, but i will in the future so i hope some of that helps Remember, if you're feeling flighty, weird, spaced out, choose your experience of it, because there's no harm in you. There's no harm in it. You can enjoy it. Or, um, or choose not to, you know. Choose your thoughts, which choose your experience. So I should leave it there, and just to finally say, um, is... Um, you know, I do share just what I share um, in case it helps any, any one person in the world. If it helps one person, I'm happy uh, with that. I feel I've done my bit. Um, but but mm, my sharing and my support so far is, is on Facebook and YouTube. Um, so I can't support with individual questions one-to-one -one on Messenger. Um, I, I know people message me and I know for them it may be just one message from them but if you imagine I get hundreds of messages every week and if I spend too much of my time you know not practicing what I preach <laughs> too much time in the illusion <laughs> uh, reacting yeah which i don't do but I'm, that's why i'm laughing is if i spent too much my time in automated reaction yeah to all the messages um i would actually uh negate my own embodiment process and if i did that there is absolutely no point in being here in this body this lifetime it is about your embodiment it is about my embodiment and so quite often i won't l be able to look at some messages uh, it's very intuitive sometimes i will leave the messages a week um, or more etc because we have to honor our own stage um, and our own awareness of what to focus on so a lot well, really, most, actually, all of what I've explained today, I'm explaining in case it helps, but it's not what I'm focusing on. Uh, my path is, is energy, um, and really there's only kind of like two subjects, in a way, to my path. It, it's about becoming energy itself and serving God. And the two go together for me. They go together, they're the same but it's always about serving God and, and if I can't do that this lifetime there's absolutely no point in me being here so please understand that I can't answer everybody's message or indeed look at every every message okay um, but I should just keep supporting as we go and as we all change I will just keep supporting and keep loving you through as I do. Um, so, I hope some of that has helped you. And uh, wherever you are in the world, I just send you so much love. And I completely support every 
saying oh here my being on this planet knowing that some people will choose to play a role and exit without awakening they're just role plays for us to expand from and knowing also very aware that uh, awakened people some awakened within this period of intensity some awakened period people will exit too but to find peace with that because I have been shown that and the, they're choosing to they've already decided it before they came that they would experience life they'd experience their awakening and then when a point of intensity came they're going to choose to go they're done they've done everything their soul wished for them to experience this lifetime and they're very 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 happy to do that they're